plastic pipe shop and in this video we're going to have a look at the difference between PVC and ABS. Now lots of people ring us up in the office and ask us whether they should be using PVC or ABS in their system. The answer for most applications is PVC. The reason for this is that of the two systems PVC is the cheaper but often about 25 to 30 percent cheaper as far as pipe and fittings and valves etc. And also, for most systems, there's little advantage in using ABS. Both plastics are taint-free. Both of them have much the same chemical resistance profile, although if you are using some unusual chemicals or very strong acids or alkalis, I would uh, recommend you check our chemical compatibility charts in our technical section at plasticpipeshop.co.uk. So, for a start, PVC is a little bit cheaper. Um, the operating temperatures of PVC are specified at between 0 and 60 degrees centigrade. Now obviously like all plastics, ABS included, the higher the temperature gets, the lower the pressure rating of the plastic. And again, if you are using plastics at a higher temperature, then you can find those pressure derating factors on our technical section. Now the important thing with PVC is that as it gets colder, it can become more brittle. So at temperatures below about 5 degrees C, um, it can become quite brittle and not very resistant to impacts at all. So if you have an application where the temperature is likely to be below 5 degrees C, especially below zero, um, whether that's the ambient temperature around the pipe or the process fluid which is going through the pipe, and there's a risk of impact resistance, then maybe PVC isn't the plastic for you. If it's just staying clipped on a wall, or it's underground, or it's somewhere where it's never going to get impacted, then it's not a problem at all, it'll give you decades of good service. ABS, on the other hand, can go right down to minus 40 degrees. It's a very impact resistant plastic. It's because the makeup of ABS involves use of a styrene compound, whereas PVC doesn't, and that gives it it's, uh, it's ductility. A lot of common items which you find around the house are made of ABS. For example, Lego bricks, mobile phone cases, laptop cases. And that's because of the high impact resistance and of the ability of ABS to be able to slightly deform and then form back into its own shape again. Whereas PVC can't do that. If PVC takes a knock, it can't deform and it's likely to crack. So, at low temperatures, ABS is our plastic of choice. That makes it useful in some chiller circuits, for example, if we have some glycol running through the system and we're running at minus 8, minus 10, minus 15. Um, factories where we have ice slurries which are running through the plastics or any fluids at very low temperatures. Or in fact, even applications outdoors in cold climates where there is a risk of impact, ABS is the plastic of choice for you. So, the only other difference between the two is the colour. ABS tends to be a slightly lighter colour, a lighter grey than PVC, which is the darker grey of the two. Okay, I hope that's cleared it up for you. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to call us. You can find our number on our website, plasticpipeshop.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Bye.